For more on that and the inside story, we're joined by Sishadri Chari here in the studio. Thanks very much for being here. Uh, we've just seen uh, Mr. Rajnath Singh having the inaugural address to the national executive. What we'd like to know is everyone's saying that, you know, there's so many issues facing the party. We've had so many leaders come out in the open and openly criticize. Is Mr. Rajnath Singh, is the party going to come face these issues head on? Obviously, that's what they are doing. In fact, the National Executive Committee's agenda this time is a very vast agenda. Yeah. So I think in these two, two days they will be able to uh, grapple with a number of issues. Mm -hmm. See, after win winning or losing an election is only a small event. Of course. Had we won and formed the government, the issues would have been different. But as an opposition party also, we have a role to play. And uh, uh, BJP, unlike the left parties or Samajwadi party or uh, some other party, we have not been marginalized. Mm. We have not been reduced to a zero. We have a very big role to play in this country. Right, Mr. you are saying that obviously the party will discuss all these issues, but when we heard the party president last week speaking with the media and giving that press conference, he seemed to indicate even though at that time so many voices of dissent had come about, but at that time we already, we didn't know about Arun Shori's letter, we knew about the other ones, we'd heard all the, but at that time he seemed to say that they'll wait till August to discuss it, have the Chintan Baitak in August. So are they going to wait till then or are they? No. <coughs> Chintan Baitak is a very different issue in itself. BJP uh, is a party where these kinds of Chintan Baitaks takes place even when there is no election. We have been going through Chintan Baitaks for the last almost 25-30 years. Yeah. Every six months. No, he seemed to indicate six. that all these issues and the post-election thing will be dissected in August, not now. No, 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 no. It will still be done. It will be done now. It will be done in August. Again in October we will have another meeting. These Chintan Baitaks are meetings that take place from time to time and the Chintan Baitaks are attended not only by members from the National Executive Committee. It will have a larger. It will have a, no, it may be a smaller group mm -hmm. but representing a larger area of the polity. Right. Mr. Sir, you, you're saying that obviously there are lots of, you know, forums for discussion, larger, smaller and all right. that. But a lot of people seem to feel that even in 2004, the 2004 defeat, BJP hadn't digested that yet, which is why even now the clip that we are playing of mm -hmm. Mr. Jaswan Singh, the interview that he gave to Barkha, even in that he's saying, I don't understand what kind of Hindutva we are adopting. Even though, So these issues should have been cleared after the first defeat in 2004. No, it's not that. The 2004 election and the election results were a different situation. Hindutva was not the question in 2004. Hindutva is, was not the question in it 2009 in, also. No, I know. But no, it, it no. did the come... BJP, no, no, no. Let me see. The BJP was very clear in 2004. Hmm. The election slogan of the BJP was... India shining. India shining. Right. Not Hindutva shining. Mm -hmm. 2009, our manifesto does not mention anything about Hindutva. It is about providing an alternative stable government to the UPA. Right. So the people's perception of the Congress being able to form or give a better government hmm. or a stable government was more. So that's the only issue. I okay. don't understand where Hindutva is the issue here. In this one? Well, where that's been issue? brought up by Mr. Jaswan Singh yes, and not us. Where is the issue of Hindutva? And not just him, a lot of other, even Mr. Yashwan Sinha's letter. Fine. So, but, but and the issue of Hindutva is also from uh, Varun Gandhi's campaign. What Varun Gandhi spoke was not Hindutva. Hmm. If if someone says so he referred that to this Muslims, I mean, okay, the entire referring thing to Muslims is, is not Hindutva. Hindutva. Varun Gandhi and also saying that he's Varun a protector Gandhi, of Hindus. I don't agree with this. Varun Gandhi is not the representative of the Hindu face of this country or the party or the sun. Right. What he spoke, what he is alleged to have spoken, okay. the case is still going on, if I am not wrong. Yeah, that's right. So what okay. he is alleged to have said has nothing to do with Hindutva.